If you clicked on this video, it's probably because you're really, really going through it right now. I've been there. If you've watched my channel in the past, you know all the crazy experiences I've gone through. But I want you to know right now that the exact feeling you're going through, I have been there. Hundreds of thousands, if not millions of different people throughout life, throughout time, have experienced exactly what you're going through right now. You're not alone. You are sharing an experience with a family of people who are welcoming to you. Like I said, I have been there countless times. All I'm doing is giving you my personal experience, the things that I've done in the past and the ways that I know that I've been helped in the past as well. I understand that every experience is different, every person is different, every dosage is different, but I really just wanna do my best to help in any way possible because like I said, I know what it's like. One thing I want to make sure that you understand is that the feeling you're feeling right now is temporary. I've made a video in the past about how to get through a bad come down. And I say the same thing, a bad trip, a bad come down, they are both temporary. And the feeling that you're feeling in your chest right now, the things that you're seeing, the anxiety, the fear, the up and down emotional roller coaster you're going through right now is temporary and you will be back to normal. It is a fact. I need you to know that. First off, I wanna tell you, if you feel like you're in a bad situation or you're uncomfortable in your location, change it. Pick up your phone, your laptop, or whatever you're watching this on. If you can, change your location to somewhere where you're comfortable and where you feel like the vibes are better. Be able to breathe. Be somewhere open. Maybe bright, maybe dark. Whatever feels right to you. Trust your feelings. First off, I want you to take a deep breath, as deep as you can. Hold it for a good amount of time and slowly let it go and just release all the bad vibes that you're experiencing right now. Release all those bad negative thoughts. Release those horrible thought loops that you're experiencing and just concentrate on the oneness of your own mind. Concentrate on being happy and breathing. Because believe it or not, breathing, being alive, at this time, when you can go onto YouTube and look for help, when you can go to a refrigerator and get food, where you can go to your kitchen and get water, shelter above your head, you are living in a beautiful time and in a beautiful place. And you should really, really, really appreciate it and experience the life around you. Make sure that you hydrate, especially if you're on some sort of like an MDMA trip. And take this with a grain of salt when I say it. If you smoke weed, maybe try to smoke a little bit of weed. For me, during very bad trips, smoking a little weed calms me down. For others, it can make it worse. So take that with a grain of salt. Know yourself. Smoking a little weed can sometimes help. Smoking like a cigarette or something can help. Something that'll just calm you down slightly. Some of the best things that I've done during bad trips is turn on something that occupies my time. I enjoy watching The Office. It's one of my favorite shows. I feel like in any moment I can watch it and it just feels like a warm, cuddly blanket over myself just watching that show. I can't tell you how many times The Office has taken me out of bad trips and made me laugh my ass off out of nowhere. If you have a TV show like that, a video game, a song, an album, an artist, I encourage you to turn it on and allow yourself to be distracted for a little while. Allow yourself to get out of this negative mind state and push yourself into a good one. Even sitting somewhere quietly outside in nature um, safely could be a form of distracting yourself. Going outside and playing with the grass, going and looking at a bush. Like there are so many different things that are beautiful on this earth and, and, and really, really enjoyable that can absolutely distract you from any sort of negative or bad trip that you may be going through. When you start to distract yourself and you kind of kick that bad thought loop and you, you get rid of it. The negative feelings may come flooding back. With psychedelics, especially as you're coming down, sometimes you can experience almost like a psychedelic loop. Like one moment you feel totally fine, a few seconds later you're just thrown back into the trip and feeling terrified. Usually what that means is that you are actually going to feel the experience less and less and it will probably go away in waves. But eventually those waves will subside and it'll be a calm shore. Play on words, you like that? That was pretty good, right? <laughs> 
one thing I do want to say is like, just like I was saying metaphorically about waves, waves are beautiful. If you can learn to ride them like, a, like you're surfing or something, it can be very, very fun. Just like a roller coaster going up and down. You know you're eventually going to come to a stop. You know you're safe in your restraints. Enjoy the roller coaster. Vibe with what you are feeling. Get in touch with the feelings that you have right now and allow yourself to be okay. It is okay to enjoy what you are feeling right now. It is absolutely okay to be happy and to let go of those negative thoughts that you're having. They are not doing anything but harming the present. If you are thinking about the past, the past is not here. If you are thinking about the future, the future is irrelevant. All you need to think about right now is the present. You're setting who you are, where you are, what is around you, and in your universe. Just because this trip is bad, it is difficult, challenging, does not mean that it's pointless. Usually, a challenging experience like you're going through right now ends up being the most valuable and leads to growing and learning and becoming a better person. I have always said throughout my channel that bad trips teach you more than good trips. And the confidence you get, the accomplished feeling you get when you get through it and you're okay and you can come back to life and it's like you skydive out of a plane and then you're going through this crazy experience and then you pull your parachute, eventually your feet touch the ground and you're just kissing the ground. <laughs> That's kind of what this experience is going to be for you. You are going to touch the ground very soon, but enjoy the view. It's a beautiful view. You are strong enough to enjoy the view. I promise you, you are. Breathe, focus, and enjoy the view. Just to reinstate a couple things, make sure you are in a comfortable and safe location. If you need to change your location, do it. The feeling that you are feeling is temporary and it will go away. You will be back to normal very, very soon. What you are going through right now is a shared experience among millions of people throughout time. You are not alone. Find something to occupy your time, whether it be music, which I would recommend mostly, TV, video game even, sitting somewhere safe outside in nature, playing with grass, looking at flowers, watering, plants like watering plants is one of the most beautiful experience when you're tripping just vibe with what you're feeling and try to enjoy it i know it's easier said than done i know that it may seem impossible but if you can somehow breathe and meditate yourself into a better mind state you can turn this entire trip around and it can be a great one Lastly, I want you to keep in mind that just because this experience is challenging does not mean that it is pointless Usually, the most challenging experiences and trips are what we learn the most from. And keep that in mind. You are okay. You are loved. We are all here with you. You are going to be okay. I promise you. Go in peace. Go in love. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that I helped in some way, somehow. I do have a video called How to Get Through a Bad Come Down. If you're interested in watching that, that goes into more detail about what you might be experiencing like tomorrow or later today or tonight. Um, but you will get through it. Okay. I promise you. I promise you. Everything is going to be okay. I promise. Love.